given how much scientific knowledge has advanced over, say, you know, well, obviously all centuries, but particularly the past century or so, why has science not yet done away with belief in God? It's a good question. I thought when I was a youngster that it would have by now. I think in the first world, it's clear that there's a monotonic decrease in the number of people who, who uh, affiliate themselves with organized religion. Where religion really has, uh, has it on, on science is the notion that somehow, without religion, you're not a good person. We have to convince people that, that, that using rationality and empathy is a basis of morality or, or behavior that's most people don't base their morality on religion in spite of what they say. If, most, if, if you ask people, if you didn't believe in God, would you go out and kill your neighbor? Most people will say no. And so we have to overcome centuries and millennia of religion having a monopoly on this idea of morality. And, and um, I think because of that, uh, and the fear of death, the fact is that, that, that uh, uh, people would rather cling when they're afraid of something, to a priori beliefs, then rather open their minds. But we have to convince people they shouldn't be afraid. You shouldn't be afraid of science. Accepting the reality of nature makes life more exciting and even more precious. But there are things that are fundamentally scary. Say, for example, the aspect of, of death that means that you, firstly, it's an unknown, and secondly, that um, it is you are going to be separated from people that you of love. Of course it's scary. So... What's, what does it matter if some people choose to mitigate that fear by belief in... Oh, there's not... Look, if, if, if every man or woman was an island, it wouldn't matter. But people have control over other people in their lives, either teachers or government officials. So when you accept myth and superstition, at one level, if it's just affecting your internal behavior and beliefs, well, that's fine. It helps you get through the day. We all invent fictions to get us through the day. Uh, we, could go, we could list a litany of them. But when it impacts on our policies and the way we behave, whether we say gays are evil, which is, which is clearly manifestly empirically incorrect, when, we, when, when it determines policies and makes, those pol it makes us behave irrationally, that's a problem. And inevitably it spills over from one end to the other. And I think that's the real problem. I, you know, it's, one could say, I don't care what people believe, it's, how, it's what they do. But what people believe uh, impact on what they do. And, and it's not as if religion is universally bad. Of course, it's responsible for many people's doing good actions. The, a friend of mine, a, a Nobel Prize winning physicist, has said, um, you know, there are good people and there are bad people. Good people do good things. Bad people do bad things. When good people do bad things, it's religion. Annoyingly, we're out of time. Thank you so much for coming in to chat to us. It's, it, it's been a pleasure. Thanks.